Scales, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a quick energy check-in reading. We're going to see what your person is feeling and thinking and what messages the universe has for you. So the first card that came out of the deck is the Seven of Cups. Oh, we also have the Two of Cups. So someone seems to think that you're worth the risk. All right, Seven of Cups, Two of Cups. And we have Judgment. So there's going to be a second chance with you and someone here. Um, I feel like this person may be involved with someone, but they're going to risk it to be with you. Let's see where this goes. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, um, possibly a Scorpio. I don't know. By looking at these cards, it looks like this person has some things they need to do to get their lives in order. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo Taurus, or Capricorn. What messages do you have for Leo, the Empress? All right, so some of you may be married to this person. Could be a Taurus. Um, if not, this may be your baby mom. Whoever this is to you, you may feel like, I mean, they may feel like, I'm sorry. They may feel like they have to step up their game in order to meet you in the middle they may feel like they don't have enough to offer you because this person is seeing you as the queen of pentacles and the empress if you're not dealing with an earth sign this is how this person sees you they see you as someone who had their life in order you make things happen you're very kind and nurturing and and caring like you help this person out a lot and they may be realizing that if you're not in their life that they're going to miss out yeah we have the justice and the six of swords somebody feels like you're walking away from them could be a Libra as well with the Justice card. Or this person has some um, some issues that they're going through, some legal issues with the Justice card here. We also have the Princess of Swords. So someone's keeping their eye on you, Leo. Could be a younger air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. All right, so we have the King of Swords and the Three of Cups. So I do see a reunion. I see a reunion here with you and this person with the Two of Cups, Three of Cups, and the King of Swords. Some of you are dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. And whatever you guys are going through, you're going to work this out because this person feels like um, letting you go is not an option. Especially with that Two of Cups, there's a lot of compatibility here. There's mutual feelings. You're in love with this person. They're in love with you. They may feel like something is not, um, I don't know, they feel like something is not equal. I don't know if this person is afraid to commit to this. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo? Why is this person afraid to commit to this? We have the Page of Cups here. So they're going to give you an offer. But I don't feel like this person is on your level for some reason. Or they don't feel like they are. I feel like there's a lot of back and forth and inconsistency in this connection. Because this person may feel like what you're requiring of them. They don't know if they can give it. You have the Ten of Pentacles. They could have a family with someone else here. Or this person wants this family with you. But they don't know how they're going to... Um, be what you need them to be. They may be looking at your life, Leo, and see that, you know, how you have a good job and you take care of business and they may be wondering, like, are they going to be able to do the same thing? This may be someone who needs to get their life in order. We have the King of Cups, a Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio. I feel like this person, yeah, the Five of Cups, somebody is afraid that you're going to walk away from them. They feel like they're not stable enough. We have the Five of Cups, the Four of Wands reverse. So we have the Five of Cups, the Hayman, and the Four of Wands reversed here with the High Priestess. Someone wants um, a new beginning. They want to start over. They want to take a risk. Yeah, this person feels like you're worth the risk here, but I feel like this is someone who's asking themselves, are they enough for you? We have Pisces energy here with the High Priestess. They could be hiding this energy of how they truly feel. Things are stagnant with you and this person, not because they don't want to be with you, but they feel like, okay, once they come your direction, they have to deliver. Maybe this person is hiding in the fact that they really don't have it like that. Their life is not what you think it is with this Five of Cups. 
So if this is someone, if you're walking away from this person and they're letting this go, they don't want to let this go. They may feel like they have to prove themselves in some sort of way and they may like feel like they may not feel like they're they can do it. Yeah, the nine of cups. So they are happy with you. We have the hierophant and the devil. So this person is definitely connected to you. Um, Capricorn energy here. We have Taurus energy. So some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn or a Taurus. Or this person is married and they want to leave this marriage to be with you, Leo. But once they do that, it's like you're going to know the real them. It's something that this person is hiding with the high priestess here. Because we have the high priestess, the devil, and the hierophant. They're hiding something. But I feel like the fact... I feel like what they're hiding is the fact that they don't, um, they may not do everything at home. Like, I feel like there's a queen of pentacles in that and an empress involved here in some kind of way that may hold up the household for them or the bills. And you don't know that. And so if they walk away from this situation, you're going to find that out. So even though this person feels like you are worth a risk, now they're sort of afraid like, okay, if I do commit to this, Leo is going to realize that I don't have my life in order. And they may, like you may even look at this person and be like, you know what, this is what I wanted. Like, how could I have not seen this? All right, I feel like somebody here is just not telling you everything. They may be making it think, making you think that they have their life in order and they really don't. But with the Two of Cups coming out early on in this reading, this is somebody who loves you and want to be with you, but they know they're going to have to step up to the plate if they do. And they may not know how they're going to make that happen. Yeah. We have the Nine of Swords, Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles. This person, um, they have money issues. And I feel like whoever this person that they're with now, Leo, may pay all the bills, may hold things together. And this is what you don't know about them. And so if this person is sort of running away, um, dodging you or not answering questions or not letting you know what their intentions are, it's not that they don't love you because we have the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups here. So they definitely care, definitely in love with you. But this person don't want you to know the real them. There's something where you don't know everything about this person. Uh, Nine of Swords is worry, fear, and anxiety. They, they feel some secrets are going to come out with this high priestess being here. Yeah, so I, like, I feel this person is like, you're definitely worth the risk, but their secrets are going to be, their secrets are going to come out. And they're wondering if they're ready for that. If they're ready to let you know who they really are, you're going to find out definitely. Yeah, the moon. We have the moon and the six of pentacles here. So they want to come in and give you an equal... Um, they want to come in and have an equal give and take with you. But they are like, okay, if Leo finds out who I really am, will they still want me? All right. So I feel like you're going to find something out about this person. Because I don't see them letting you go. But I feel like somebody's going to come clean about them needing to get their finances in order with the five of pentacles being here maybe uh telling you or asking you if you could you know allow them time to find a better job or something here Spirit, let's just see how for leos yeah so we have the sun card here the three of pentacles yep and the ten of cups the ten of swords you may feel like this person is always stabbing you in the back, uh, betraying you in some sort of way. Like you may feel like they disconnect from this connection a lot. And it's not for reasons that you think. Because with the Ten of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Sun, this is somebody who's in love with you. This is someone who sees you as having it all, seeing you as a good person, knowing that they can have a family with you and they'll be fine. But they don't know... If they can uphold their end of the bargain. See how with this three of pentacles, this woman is holding the scroll. And it's like this other person is being taught something. 
being taught how to come up um, to her level and, and be where she is or vice versa. Now, whatever this is for you, Leo, it could be vice versa. So um, if this is resonating with you, just reverse it how it is for your situation. But this person is definitely happy with you. It's not you, it's them. All right, so let's get a couple more. So what messages do you have for Leos for this quick energy reading? The Princess of Cups. Yep, Seven of Wands here. So someone is extremely guarded about letting you know who they really are. Two of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles came out in this reading. So someone is definitely juggling. Their life is not what you think it is, okay? This person either needs to get a better job. Um, they need to find a place to live on their own. They're wondering if they can really make all of this happen. Seven of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Page of Cups. So again, the offer is coming. I feel like this person is just going to you know, hope and pray that you accept them as they are because there are some changes that this person needs to make, but they're resistant to making them with the death card reverse or they haven't made them up until now, but they feel like, okay, well, if I go towards Leo, I'm going to really have to make these changes. I'm really going to have to put the work in because see, I feel like this other person know who they are and they have accepted them as they are, but you sort of know a different side of them that's not really them it may be what they told you it may be what you see on the outside or only what they show you so i feel like some of you may find out something um about someone yeah ace of wands and the eight of swords so there's a lot that you don't know about this person seven of swords ace of cups there's a lot of passion there's a lot of chemistry here with the ace of wands but Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords. This person has been being sneaky and, and holding something back. But we do have the Ace of Cups here. So some of you may choose new love, but the but those of you who choose to stay with this person, I feel like you're you're gonna, it's like they're starting to feel you're worth the risk, but you're gonna find out something about this person that you didn't know. And it's sort of like there's some decision that you may have to make, whether you're going to stick around and allow this person to get their life in order. We have the Hermit here. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. I'd like to see a lot of um, air energy here. Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Or this is this person being up in their head about whether they want to just tell you, you know, this is how their life truly is. Will of Fortune reverse. Two of Swords. King of Wands. Could be another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Yeah, this person is trying to make a decision. Eight of Wands. I feel like you guys are going to have a conversation or there's a conversation coming from this person. Yep, they need to make some decision here. The Wheel of Fortune is reversed. So definitely this person may have some money issues. Um, all right, Leo. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.